do your best, do your darndest to make sure that that initial information is accurate. And two, if it's not, you've got to find a way to disseminate the inaccurate, the corrected information broadly. That was the recommendation made by Mike Janocco, the independent consultant hired to investigate the beating death of Kelly Thomas. In front of a packed city council meeting, Janocco presented his first report and addressed a few topics that had caused some members of the community to speculate about a police cover-up. I should say from the outset that uh, at least as to the four issues I'll be talking about today, we found no evidence of intent by the police department to deceive or falsify, but do offer recommendations on two of the issues, at least two of the issues, that in our view, if followed and adopted by the department and by the city, would improve its processes. After Janocko's 40-minute presentation, both Ron Thomas, Kelly Thomas's father, and Fullerton's police chief expressed happiness with the progress and the findings. The police department is certainly very pleased that uh, there's been several allegations that have been made uh, about this department and we have on a consistent basis said that many of those allegations are not correct and I believe that tonight's report uh, indicates that and, and so we're pleased with that but certainly we have to keep moving forward and we look forward to working with Mr. Janako in, in these recommendations. Janako and I are, are right on track with each other um, on all issues thus far. Uh, I see the way this is looking, there is justice for Kelly up ahead.